reinforcement and uh, 3% fire given by the 10% of the reinforcement is used as a coil fiber and they uh, use epoxy resin as a matrix in the uh, component. In addition to in addition to the coil fiber in the composite, they use increase the uh, they uh, after increase the strength of the composite. And for the maximum strength, uh, maximum half length is applied for the placement, uh, which have the zero point five maximum uh, impact strength and tensile strength is applied for the uh, composite with zero point five percentage of uh, weak uh, coil fiber. And uh, uh, there uh, there was a reduction in the Increase in the fiber uh, percentage of the composite, the, 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 the negative properties of the composite are increased. I'm coming to fiber. I have used sodium and sodium uh, and sodium uh, and sodium matrix in the preparation of composite. I will make a fully natural and diameter to the uh, composite. And uh, I, did, I have used sodium and sodium and sodium and sodium and sodium and sodium and sodium more uh, protein matrix, which will uh, provide more uh, additive properties. And these are the list of contents I have uh, uh, used to prepare uh, 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 the additive that are different, that are in different weight fractions according to the uh, 100 parts of the water initially. Uh, I have used soya bean in soya bean flavor uh, in uh, 55 by uh, weight weight uh, weight parts and uh, some others like uh, pine oil. This is a cancer hydroxide uh, in your solution and uh, this is the way to prepare the additive. And these are, uh, these are all the ingredients I have used for the specific filter. There are a specific filter that is in the ingredients which have been prepared for additive. Uh, finally, this is uh, the uh, uh, different uh, ingredients uh, which is a chance of making a uh, foam on the so, uh, finally, you use as a deformer to eliminate the formation of uh, foam. Uh, and the uh, caster hydrogenase uh, helps to maintain the viscosity of the entity. Uh, and uh, uh, to improve, uh, to obtain the improved stability and the additive qualities of the entity, uh, we have used sodium hydroxide as the alkyl. And uh, for the uh, uh, protection from the bacteria and fungus, other uh, uh, problems we have, uh, problems with the composite, we have used chlorophyll and then this is available for the, in the preparation of the energy. And coming to the uh, preparation of the com uh, composite, uh, we have used different, uh, different type of lengths of the coconut coil as a reinforcement. And we have, and I have used 15% uh, of the weight, 50% uh, of the fiber in the total weight of the composition as a reinforcement. And these are the pictures, uh, pictures of the preparation of the composition which I have, uh, when I have done, uh, which I have done during my butter. Coming to the after lamination and after lamination, the composition I have used here. Uh, and these are the specification of the scientists uh, I have used for the cutting of the specimen. According to the science standards of weak residual DNA, I have used for the tensile specimen and the ASH standards of weak DNA, I have used to uh, use for preparation of flexible specimen. And these are the dimensions that are uh, showing in the figures for the cutting of the specimen. And coming to the specimen preparation, uh, I have used a uh, uh, 1630 model uh, CNC rotor wood cutting machine to cut the specimen according to the required sizes of the uh, required sizes of the specimen we use in the local uh, uh, local workshop by the help of your local workshop. This is the video of the composite.
during the cutting of the pen plate. Uh, for cutting pen plate, the uh, CAD model is used and program was given to the uh, machine to cut the pen plate according to the uh, required standard. For each and every uh, fiber laminate, we have used it. From every laminate, we have used it. Uh, from every laminate, we have uh, obtained three specimens for the in total, we have obtained the ID specimen for the both systems, but they have the same time to measure and extract this. In each variation of the 10, 20, and 30 of the fiber length, we have obtained three specimen for the general fixed and three specimen for the natural fixed. In each organization. Now, the And these are the pieces uh, I have applied after the cutting of the after cutting from the laminate. These are the pieces I have used for the testing. And for testing, uh, we have used universal testing machine as a testing machine for the temperature and pressure and this. For more process, we have used the temperature machine, the universal testing machine. And this is the this is the video uh, we have taken during the testing. First of all, we have taken the statements in the machine till. We have used 0.01 mm per second of the uniform velocity to find out the extent of the specimen. And after the period of the time, it was breaking it, it is a break up and a load of maximum load that will be shown in the video. And coming to the result of the linear specimen, it was obtained that the maximum of manpower average is 3.43 newton per linear specimen has obtained a load of 0.03 kilometers for the linear specimen. And we have a table of the linear specimen for the linear specimen. And this is the linear specimen. Uh, 
after that, after 21 hours time period, we basically make up the composite by, by, by observing the water condition. And in this way, we have observed the uh, increasing thickness of the composite. And this medical uh, line will show the variation in the thickness and the weight of the chemical variation, by the chemical fiber variation composite. And a uh, green color to show the protein and fiber and And blue color is the animal fiber and Initially, we get a, uh, we have no data and thickness, and finally, we observe that we need uh, some uh, increased weight of the composite because of uh, after water maintenance. And coming to the water observation procedures, we have uh, we have used the initial final phase of the composite before uh, degree to the water and uh, after the twenty-four uh, hours period of time. Uh, we have used this uh, this order to uh, find out the water observation pathway of the composite after twenty-four hours time period. And uh, by graph, we can see that the variation in uh, the different by uh, we can see the different by the water observation pathway of the composite of ten to ten to ten and even variation by the and we uh, observe that the changes of the variation composite have the least water observation percentage in the sandiable fiber line variation by the composite. Because of the sandiable fiber line variation composite, uh, there is this other, uh, there we have of the, uh, we have more fiber present in the composite. Uh, so, water pressure percent is moving up the second of the variation. And these are the thinner filling uh, structure of the composite, and this is the formula we have used for the thinner filling uh, to calculate the thinner filling material. And in this uh, test, we have used uh, the initial and 